Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that S-544, uh, the Secret Science Reform Act, has been placed <laughs> on this markup. Uh, as you know, the House Science Committee has held extensive hearings uh, on the House version of this bill, and the bill has passed on the House floor with bipartisan support. I'm pleased that we are now considering this legislation here today. I also want to thank the members of this committee who are original co-sponsors of the bill, uh, namely Senator Vitter, uh, yourself, Mr. Chairman, as well as Senator uh, Crapo and Senator Fisher. What this bill is trying to accomplish is to ensure that we strengthen the scientific information the EPA uses to make regulations, guidance, and assessments. The EPA has a long history of uh, relying on science that was not created by the agency itself. This often means that the science is not available to the public and therefore cannot be reproduced and verified. As a doctor, I know that the better data and research is the kind that is transparent, publicly available, and reproducible. This legislation accomplishes all of these points, and it gives the EPA the gold standard set by modern scientific journals and even by the Obama administration's stated policy. In fact, jo Dr. John Holdren, the President's own science advisor, stated in June of 2012 that, quote, absolutely, the data on which regulatory decisions and other decisions are based should be made public. Once enacted, the EPA will benefit from a better process to strengthen the research and data that is the basis of their regulations, their guidance, and their assessments. By improving their scientific process, the EPA will enhance the confidence that the public and policymakers will have in the agency. The agency's policies must provide the environmental and public health benefits that the EPA has promised. Under this legislation, the EPA can propose, finalize, or disseminate regulations, guidance, or assessments based only upon science that is transparent, publicly available, and reproducible. Critics have claimed that the bill would allow for personal confidential health information to be released to the public. This bill ensures that there will be no public dissemination of information that is prohibited by law, such as personal health information. As a matter of fact, the Congressional Research Service stated in March of this year that, quote, certain statutes, such as the Freedom of Information Act and the Privacy Act, addresses what information the federal government is required or permitted to disclose. The Congressional Research Service went on to say that the Secret Science Bill, quote, would be implemented in the context of these statutes. In addition, once again, as a doctor, I know that medical researchers code personal health information to protect patient confidentiality. Finally, let me say that this bill is not a burden on the EPA. It does not apply retroactively to past EPA actions. It only applies to new actions. Many scientific experts and former EPA officials have stated the EPA can accomplish these requirements without imposing burdens. This bill does not require EPA to collect or disseminate information. It simply tells the agency to rely only on the best publicly available science. So I encourage my colleagues to support strengthening the EPA's regulatory process so that the public can have the assurance that the EPA's regulations, guidances, and assessments will provide the environmental and health benefits that they have been promised. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.